it's here. It's finally here. Mandalorian season three. I did not realize how long it's been, but it's been a while. Semi watched the ending of last of season two and definitely realized I got things mixed up because we saw him in Book of Boba and we saw him show up, see what Grogu's up to, saw him get back together, got the dark saber, all that jazz. But man, am I ready. It'll be so exciting. Also interesting since I've been watching The Last of Us and seeing Pedro Pascal in that, seeing him again back in the Mandalorian seat. But wow, I am excited. I am ready. I hope you guys are too. Hoping to see, you know, here's the direction they're gonna take this. I'm kind of hoping it's gonna be Mandalorian reclaiming Mandalore, maybe Darksaber getting involved, seeing Bo-Katan again off in her crew. A lot of exciting things, potentials, but curious which direction they're gonna go. Uh, but obviously with a thumbnail and with the Book of Boba, we know he's back together with Grogu and not after the ending of season two with him sending him off in this way. So hopefully you guys have watched the Book of Boba. Oops, spoiled it. But I imagine if you're here watching this, you've probably watched all the Star Wars stuff, including Book of Boba. There's some gems in there. Whether you like the show or not, there's some gems in there, especially those Mando, Mando episodes. So anyways, with that said, we are going to get started on this season three, episode one or chapter 17, however you want to look at it. So let's get to it. Next episode of The Mandalorian. Okay, okay, so this is the armorer. A baby helmet? Okay, a blue helmet. So maybe he joined that tribe? So cool, me want. Oh, this is a little one. Wait a sec. No, no, just kidding, just kidding. The words of the creed shall be forever forged in my heart. And the words of the creed shall be forever forged in my heart. So many questions. Who is this? I shall never remove my helmet. From this moment on, I shall never... In front of people. That's like a giant... That is a giant alligator. Holy crap. Oh. Oh. Hey, super speed. I forgot his ship upgrade. Oh, it's like an alligator turtle. Oh, snap. Oof. He's like, uh, by the way, does that make up for uh, me removing my helmet? You broke you have the removed your helmet. But what if the mines of Mandalore still exist? All was destroyed in the purge. Is this inscription not Mandalorian? Did we see get that, or am I not? Or is this new? Did I forget something? The traveler was able to retrieve this, so perhaps it is not poisoned. True. If I visit the planet and I can bring you proof that I have bathed in the living waters beneath the mines of Mandalore, then by creed, the decree of exile will be lifted and I this will is be the redeemed. Way. All right. There it is. Short and sweet. That would be cool, but also terrifying to be like plastic material between you and the outside space, especially hyperspace. <gasps> It's 
Pergils? Oh my gosh. So many, oh my gosh, I love to see it. They're my favorite. Welcome to the Fort of Navarro, Jim of the Outer. He hasn't outgrown his carriage yet. Oh, they look great. That's awesome. They still got their Muppet charm. Oh, they memorialized him. Woo! Oh, who's his friend in the back? I heard you were back. But I didn't believe it. He I is living Carpentine. life. Beautiful. <laughs> Come and look at this. How do they make droids so precious? <laughs> we are an official trade spur of the Hydean race. I removed my helmet, and now I'm an apostate. Which is all the more reason for you to stay Sweets here are the us. weakness. Ah. Where you're from, you may be an apostate, but here you'd be landed Head gentry. To the courtyard. Out or maybe it way, is good timing. I'll split your circuits. Oh, my socks. Stand aside, droid. Don't you know who we are? Oh, I was hoping to see Grief, Hondo. Karga, my old friend. This is a school. Well, that explains why she wouldn't let me inside. <laughs> oh, at least I they weren't pushy. Your cut of my boss's treasure. It's a freaking school. It's a school now. Dude. I say it's still a bar. Try me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Tell Captain Gillian Shark that Navarro he didn't is even no hurt longer you. friendly to pirates. Well, sure you want to let him go? You'll let it be known that Navarro is respectable now. I need him back. Oh? IG-11 <laughs> was destroyed on the lava river. This is just a step. These are his parts, are they not? I mean, what's left of them? We were lucky to recover any of his parts after he self destroyed. Ah, <laughs> what? Eh, you can get new legs. It's all about what's up in here. Better make sure he's not gonna go wackadoo. As a to be terminated. I knew it. I knew it. He went back to his factory reset. Oh. Mango, shoot it! Shoot it! Nice. Now that's using your head. Ha. Huh. I think he defaulted to his old programming. You think? Why don't you ask him for yourself? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Who? The <gasps> Anselans. Oh! 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 What do you want? Is Babu there? Oh my gosh. <laughs> the broken. The uh, broken. Mando, he said he can't fix it. Oh my That's gosh, no good. he's in a I tiny... Need this one. This one is my friend. No, 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 Baby. Oh, Sorry about that. He's young. <laughs> no, Grogu. <laughs> oh, my heart. It hurts. Oh. Is your enemy proximity warning indicator? Pirates? Hang on, kid. We got pirates. Yeah. I've asked Mandalorian. You can't just sneak away after cutting down four of my brothers in Cole. The makeup is freaking awesome, too. Now you'll answer to him. Yeah. And that's gonna happen to you next, bro. Keep going after him. <laughs> Anyone got eyes on the Mandalorian? Not yet. Oh, high long transition. Little Rick killing. Oh! Surprise, mother! That's like a hammerhead. Holy. Stop where you are, Mandalorian. What in the You're world? Surrender your ship and I'll spare your life. 
kid. Never trust a pirate. I love the practical effects and makeup they're doing. Yeah. Is he gonna see Bo Katan? Is this where she lives? Bo Katan. It is Din Djarin. Okay. I'm here to join you. There's nothing left to join. Uh oh. When I returned without the Darksaber, my forces melted away. Wave that thing around, and they'll do whatever you say. It's kind of sad. So you gave up your designs to retake Mandalore? But... I am going to Mandalore, so that I may bathe in the living waters and be forgiven for my transgressions. There's nothing magic about the mines of Mandalore. They supplied Beskar ore to our ancestors, and the rest is superstition. I like that his mission isn't just like cut and dry. Like there's Goodbye, controversy. Like this is his own personal mission. Wow. Fun. I really liked that first episode. I didn't feel like they were like trying to really like sock it to you right at the beginning. They just it get, very much feels like chapter 17, just a continuation of the story um, with some time in between. But um, like I was saying, it very much feels like I like that his mission is not everyone agrees this is the goal at hand and we're going to go accomplish it and it can be achieved. I like that there's one messiness on, you know, from bo -Katan's point of view with this cult he grew up in and the miss, you know, differing opinion about like their beliefs such as the removing of your helmet and the living waters being in cleansing and on her perspective she's like oh that's all superstition you know they're there but they're just supplying our best scar um and they're they're the people that broke and scattered our people here man those kind of in between it right he's removed his helmet before because he's one of the show people he cares aka grogu but he was also he was so much growing up in that belief that it was so hard to remove him the other times he's done it as well right uh and then he's faced against bo katan who you know is is in the old way about mandalore wanting to reclaim it and he he kind of wants that too but he also wants to reclaim his place in the cult my early theory is that he will go to mandalore maybe discover some stuff the mine i'm sure will still be there and he will cleanse himself then maybe when he returns and he'll return to them but instead of being like this is the way i'm gonna be forgiven i think he's gonna say no ma'am this is the way and he's gonna whip off his helmet and he's gonna saga to them and whip out the dark saber be like looky here i don't know that's probably a little rude i mean that's like someone's showing up and, and actively opposing your religious beliefs. And I don't think Mandalorian would do that. So just kidding about that. But I do think he will kind of sh turn a new leaf and be like, I want to be a part of this group because I grew up in it and I respect you, the armor and the people in it. You are like my family, but I also believe in these other and new ways and I want us to have a better future. And potentially though, him going and showing proof that the mind still exists, that there's still hope for Mandalore to be reclaimed, maybe that will group and bring the scattered Mandalorians back together and they can build anew. The question is, would they kind of adjust their beliefs with this whole helmet situation? will that even matter will can they just coexist and have they're like hey you know our tribe you know we're all mandalorian but you know our tribe we're just gonna keep our helmet on and just support us in that and we'll support you in your opinion um and maybe just not be so strict like that and and be welcoming and accepting on both sides that's like the best of both worlds right if people can do that because that very much exists, you would hope, in, in our reality of people having different religious beliefs and just respecting that. We'll see. We'll see what Mando, Din, Din Djarin, um decides. Highlights. <laughs> A lot of fun highlight moments. You could definitely see where they give us those little sparks of pg joy or like just easygoing lightheartedness um i didn't realize and i can't even recall the name of the race of Bo boba fett and zellian babu frick thank you boba fett babu frick they both are bf um babu frick and zellian adorable one i love that he has to go in this tiny little 
un like short small room but mando's sitting in there cross-legged easiest pie it's like the adult sitting in kindergarten class close cross applesauce on the tiny little carpet for reading time he's sitting there watching them work skillfully and these are like grown-ups and here we have baby grogu squeezing them like they're they're a toy and they're like hey lay your hands off me one respect people's space um same thing treat them no matter the sides it's like when people go up to a chihuahua and they want to pick them up and the chihuahua is like whoa back off you know you can't do that to a big great dane because you know you respect the size difference so same thing here it's like baby doesn't know but it's good for baby to learn about respecting space and people's body anyways really fun to see them didn't obviously see babu frick himself sorry for assuming but obviously exciting to see that <laughs> they were super cute in their conversational um moments and the idea of potentially seeing ig ig again that's super cool i absolutely love and it was unexpected to see when they were in hyperspace seeing the pergill space whales and i don't know if people zoom in do we see a little tiny person sitting on them is ezra there i don't know it's it's just, it's probably not there but wow oh they every time i see them i feel like i become you ever feel like you have a burst of warmth and joy just come and overtake like your core and your chest that's what happens i get like this a burst explosion of emotion it just makes me so excited they're such a fascinating wonderful creature partially because i love real life whales they're like these majestic large creatures that they're larger than life largest living creatures on earth and here we have you know obviously they're not the largest creatures in this universe that universe but same sort of vibe um yeah whales are just wonderful creatures so that was super fun so this episode was a really great start continuing on the story no big deals they weren't expecting they weren't trying to like overdo it just continuing it on um and mando sticking by he's like hey it's complicated me and grogu we're just going with the flow here respecting his decision i enjoy having him around so why not and then now right now that's his goal he's gonna go kind of got a couple side missions get a memory chip for this ig unit to go to mandalore mandalore is obviously the goal and to and to cleanse himself with the waters to get accepted into the cult but he's also like maybe he'll resettle in navarro maybe he will work towards potential more learning or teaching of grogu um uh, maybe he'll come across more friends and more change of plans um and then maybe he'll potentially you know join in with this rebuilding of mandalore who's gonna take and claim and hold on to the black saber black saber dark saber dark saber yeah, so a lot of questions up in the air, but a lot of exciting potential and paths I, overall. So I'm excited. Um, really had a lot of fun with this. Hope you guys did too. So thanks for being here. Thanks for watching and supporting. And if you want to show further support, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed what you saw. If you want to support and know when future videos go live, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also hit the notification button little bell on there as well so that you can be alerted when videos are uploaded and live my schedule is a little bit wonka do and sometimes won't be consistent on the days that videos are uploaded but mandalorian excites me i will continue doing that and i will continue with bad batch and finish that up so thanks for being here with me and i'll see you on the next one